Hello, soul family. Oh, Minerva said hello. <laughs> so I wanted to do an intuition exercise with you guys. And this time I have a whole bunch of stuff. So this might make it very interesting for you. Um, <laughs> she loves sage. Oh, okay. You're tampering with my exercise, Missy. Okay, so I have a few items. And um, most of the stuff you see here are things that my husband went crazy for and, and went out to buy. So we have some Lysol. We have some gloves. <laughs> we have some sage that Miss Minerva is fond about. And we have two different kinds of masks. We have a black mask and I think that's bluish white, a bluish white mask. So, <laughs> okay. So, let me back up here. And I have a kitty. <laughs> that really wants to be in my video. I wonder why she likes the sage so much. <laughs> oh, I think this is hilarious. So, um, yep. She's rolling around all of my props. Very interesting. She's going to make it very hard <laughs> for you guys to, to um, get the item. She's contaminating everything. <laughs> and then she's going to take a bath on camera. Okay, so let's put this back. Okay, so these are my one, two, three, four, five items. I already know which item I'm going to pick. So what I want you guys to do is take a couple of big deep breaths. If you have to close your eyes to do this, go ahead and do it. And guess what? It's 4-11. Look at that, 411. Don't mind my house, I'm still all packed up. Still all packed up. We hope to move soon, very soon. I can't live like this anymore, but that's cool. It's 411. Seems like every time I do a video, it's always something 11. So uh, I'm gonna move Minerva. <laughs> and I hope that she didn't make it very hard for you guys to tune in. So go ahead and close your eyes and take a couple of big deep breaths. I'm going to put my phone down. However, I already know which item I'm going to pick and I, I already knew which item I was going to keep when I first started this video. Brrr, my little pretty poo. So I'm removing item number one. I'm removing item number two. Item number three, item number four, and now I'm going to replace item number five, okay? <laughs> Miss Minerva, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I had five items. Okay, so I replaced item number five. If you guys are not ready for the reveal, pause the video and take a few more moments to just breathe, close your eyes, and just try to envision the item that I left behind. And you can, you can grab a pen and a piece of paper if you need to, and you can write down what you're sensing is the item, you know, soft, rough, cold, is the item warm, you know, is it fuzzy? Is it, um, I don't know, um, does it have ridges and ruffles, <laughs> you know, kind of just go in. Maybe some of you guys are picking up on the energy of my cat, you know, maybe your fluffy is coming up and soft and furry. <laughs> she is not a part of this video. She will not be the reveal. So you can't choose Minerva. 
<laughs> Even though she wants to be in it so bad. She's got her 15 minutes of fame. Um, you can also try to receive this energy of the item that I left behind by... Uh, some people see the picture in their mind. Some people hear. Um, some people just have an intuitive knowing. So um, there's many ways to pick up on this energy. I'm curious to see how some of you guys picked up on the energy. How did it come through for you? So again, if you're not ready, you can keep the video on pause until you feel like that you received a clear image of what it is that I left behind. For those of you that feel like they're ready, I'm going to do the reveal right now. So here we go. And the item that I left behind is BAM! <laughs> it's the gloves. Yes, you guys, it's the gloves. Minerva wanted it to be the sage. I'm going to give it back to her because she really likes it. Um, for those of you that pick up on my energy trail, I took the sage away first. Then I took away the blue mask, the black mask, and the Lysol spray. For those of you wondering, um, I did go out to Walmart. I did have my gloves and masks on, mask on when I went out. I really don't feel like I personally, I need them. Um, I feel like if you just... Uh, believe that it that you're that this is not real on your timeline and I mean that may sound really wishy-washy to some of you guys but I mean it's all whatever you know you manifest is what you create in your reality a lot of these things are things that my husband bought um me personally I like sage sage for me, does exactly what Lysol spray does for other people. The sage disinfects just like Lysol disinfects. Um, I prefer this over that because this is poison. This is not poison. This clears your house of energy. It also um, cleans and purifies the air and, and gets rid of bacteria and viruses. Um, even though I, I did some research on it and it didn't say that it clears viruses but it does clear bacteria but I feel like it clears viruses so it clears viruses because I believe it does um, sanitizer I really don't like using sanitizer it's one of the other things I don't have here I should have pulled the sanitizer out I'll just use soap and water but you know what else works really good rubbing alcohol with a little bit of aloe vera if you feel like you need to disinfect your hands um, that Florida water that works really good too. And it smells great. I love that stuff. Um, I just have mine packed. But again, just wash your hands. I mean, if you keep taking off all of the good bacteria on your hands, your immune system is not going to be as strong as you need it to be. You need to have some germs on your body to have a strong immune system. If you're using all of these disinfectants and, and you're like, squeaky clean you're, you're you're prone to getting sick quicker back in the medieval days um they did not bathe very much and uh as crazy as it sounds the dirtier they were the healthier they were you know if they cleaned themselves really 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 well all the time they were more prone to getting sicker you know than than other people. And if you don't believe me, you know, look that up, research it. Fun fact about me is I used to work at Medieval Times in Florida <laughs> as a wench. <laughs> so I learned all this fun stuff when I worked there because they have this really cool museum and you kind of get a little bit of knowledge about the, the Medieval Times and um, their lifestyles. So I learned Quite a, quite a bit when I work there. It's a, very amazing. And ever since I had that job, I have always been fascinated with the medieval times. So um, I continued to 
you know, read stuff and reach research stuff that I was interested in. And sage is actually something that came up in my research. All right, guys, I hope you liked my video. Please tell me how you guys did down below.